Hello everyone, it's Munkin FEW back with yet another episode of the RCT3 Coaster Challenge. And in this episode, we are tackling the uh, Mine Train Coaster. And uh, this is going to be a very nice little build here because I had some inspiration. And the inspiration for this is I wanted to make a Dynamite Blaster 2.0. If you know Dynamite Blaster, it's the roller coaster that you have in Dynamite Dunes, which is a scenario from RCT1, and it's um, situated in the mine, so it's like below uh, ground elevation, if you will. And uh, yeah, it's a very intense roller coaster, lots of turns, twists, and everything. And I want to try and replicate this, so uh, that's why you have this like kind of you know lowered ground, if you will. And um, it will go through, you know, it will have tunnels and everything, just like the Dynamite Blaster in RCT1. So uh, the ride will be uh, fast, intense, fast turns, good air time, you know, just an uh, overall very exciting ride, just like the original. So uh, that is the goal, and uh, we are already uh, quite, um, you know, quite busy building uh, the uh, layout of the ride. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I had some uh, straight pieces at the, after the first drop. And the reason I'm doing this is just be, uh, just like the lay down roller coaster, I want to have a section that will be kind of like a cave. So you got this like kind of big drop and then and then let's say a near miss if you will. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that or the, how to you know express that. But uh, that is the idea. And then I will probably add some mist again to create some extra excitement. But you guys see that as we go along. So here we're just like I said, we're making a lot of fast turns, transitions, you know, good speed to make sure that this is really uh, one hell of a ride. And then finally what we do is we return back to the station and uh, while I'm, of course, building the ride, I'm making sure the momentum of the ride is all right. And uh, yeah, so far I'm pretty proud of it. Um, by the way, if, if I still sound a bit nasally, it's, I still have a cold, which, by the way, I apologize for. It's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, let's get on with uh, building. So, I'm, of course, because this is a kind of like a, 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 a quarry, if you will, I think that's the correct word, a mine quarry, a rock quarry. Uh, we are using, of course, kind of like a, a rocky type of texture for both the walls and the, the, the ground. And here you can see me building that small kind of like uh, cave or whatever you want to call it. This kind of small tunnel that is built up of rocks. And of course, to match the uh, rock quarry, I'm of course using kind of the same color scheme for these rocks as well. So I think this is going to be super awesome if you ride this. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really nice way to, to uh, start off the ride. You know, this big drop, lots of speed into this tunnel. Like, you know, it's really exciting. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Now, for the rest of the ride, of course, the uh, surroundings is going to be sand, just like Dynamite Dunes, because it kind of takes place in a desert. So, you know, this is kind of the same idea, if you will. And um, I'm going to add some a little bit of extra, th extra theming here. So I want the station to be surrounded by... Uh, kind of like a small settlement or a small village. Oh, by the way, those palm trees also a uh, big wink to Dynamite Dunes because if you open a scenario, you have that roller coaster, of course, but also close to the entrance, you have a couple of palm, palm trees. So, you know, that's kind of like a, a, a wink or a homage to Dynamite Dunes. Now, I'm going to add a few hills here and there so the uh, environment is not just completely flat. And, of course, some cacti and some uh, bushes and some dead western trees and everything to really um, add to that western theming, if you will. And I think it uh, turned out quite nicely, if I say so myself. So because it's a rock quarry, of course, there has to be some way, some way to get out of this and into this. So I'm just building kind of like a, a pathway or something like that. And um, yeah, now that's done. What we can do is we can now focus on building a few more of these, um, I guess, boulder sections, if you will. Um, around the ride, so I'm just, I didn't want to have it just for that uh, cave because it would be really weird if there were just if there would be boulders there, but for the rest there would be nothing. So I'm really trying to add some extra boulders and rocks uh, throughout this ride with a little bit of shrubbery or some you know some foliage here and there. So uh, yeah, to just kind of complete the package, and um, after this I will also add some uh, tools and equipment that is kind of scattered around this rock quarry, which I think also kind of makes sense because you know it's a rock quarry. Of course, you need equipment to dig out and look for minerals and all that stuff, which uh, I'll do exactly now. So I got some mini mine train entrances here, and um, I'll add some TNT boxes, some mining equipment, some barrels. This is not just to kind of fill up this quarry here with some appropriate objects and theming, if you will. So here I'm building a, a smaller kind of barn station, if you will, for the brake section, which will have a second uh, piece of track right next to it. So it kind of resembles 
this um, thing that kind of slides back and forth, if you will, where there, you know, you could add an extra train or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to express it the best way I can. And of course, with the uh, main building, I'm going to kind of build it into kind of like a hotel or something, you know, like a ranch. Again, kind of the same thing I did with the mine train ride that I built before this. So it's going to be kind of the same theme, if you will. But again, the, the main focus, of course, of this roller coaster is without a doubt that um, is without a doubt the fact that it's a, a dynamite blaster 2.0, if you will. And I think it uh, turns out, uh, I think it turned out quite nice, the coaster itself. But we're not quite done yet because I want to add a little bit of theming here and there. So just like the mine ride, I want to uh, make this into like a little bit of a ranch, if you will, with just a little bit of extra theming. So I'm going to build a barn. I really like the barn in the previous ride I made. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to add that to this ride as well. And I'm going to add some, uh, like a, a saloon and this and that and the wind pump. And again, some just some little objects here and there to add to the theming. So it's just a little bit better. And uh, yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. So here we are going to add the catwalk to the roller coaster. Um, nothing, uh, nothing intricate or nothing complicated here, but just to add a little bit of realism to this ride. And uh, yeah, I, I really like this turnaround here. And you'll see that in the POV, and I'll explain a little bit more as we go through this. So I think this is uh, pretty much it when I'm looking at the uh, video here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Adding a mechanic here, some final things. And uh, there we go. That is the uh, mine ride completed. The mine train ride or whatever you want to call it, the mine train coaster. And uh, I think it looks awesome. I really think I, I, I personally, I think it did a, a good job making this kind of like a Dynamite Dunes, mine, a Dynamite Blaster 2.0. I think it looks awesome. You know, you got the correct theming. You got this mine quarry, this rock quarry. Um, the roller coaster looks fast and intense, you know, several tunnels and this and that. So I think that actually, um, it resembles it quite well. So, yeah, I'm uh, very, very happy with this. I think it's uh, really cool to have this kind of thing, uh, re, um, I say remade in RST3, where now you have 3D and you can ride the ride. Which, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that. So let me actually go ahead and do this so the, um, the front locomotive is not in the way. So this is what I'm talking about with the lift hill. So now you're going up the lift hill and you're, you know, you don't see much yet of the rock quarry, unless you turn your head, of course. So you're going down this kind of small kind of, you know, drop here. You gather a little bit of momentum and now you turn around and bam, there is the track all in front of you. So that's really cool. Into this drop here with the mist. Oh, that's awesome. Bit of an airtime hill here into our first tunnel, fast turns into another airtime hill that goes under the first one. Nice couple of fast turns here. Nice, that looks really nice. Here we go into our helix. Again, a bit of rocks here and there to add to the theming. Another tunnel, again with some pretty fast turns here. Down here at the bottom of the rock quarry. Fast turns, another tunnel. Oh, this, this, this was intense. I mean, imagine riding this. I mean, the transitions are very janky, but of course, that's RST3. But ignore that. It's a pretty awesome ride. And here we go into the... Nice. That's a pretty good pacing right there. Small little half helix and boom. Nice. Yeah, I really like this one. I'm genuinely proud of this one. Hope you guys liked it too. Um, really happy with this one. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. This is my attempt at making Dynamite Blaster 2.0. And uh, this was the Mind Train Coaster. I'll be back soon with another video. But until then, thank you very much for watching this and have yourself a wonderful day.